What a seat we are in this evening. We brought you the discussions. We brought you the interviews. We brought you live coverage of the elections. And this evening, 4 p.m., November 16, 2020, a cool Monday evening it is. Be broadcast brings you the results. Good evening. Thank you for joining me. I am Bobby Francis, your host this evening at the election desk. Joining me on this very anxious evening is Council Senator Dante Minto, who is in dual capacity this evening as the Council Senator and Political Analyst as well as the coordinator here of the B broadcast. Can't go any further without giving him commendations for the work the B broadcast has been doing in really offsetting an unprecedented election period here at Locasa High School. Good evening, Mr. Minto. Good evening, how are you doing? I'm all right, how are you? I'm doing just fine. Thank you for taking my invitation to join me at this, you know, very uncomfortable seat. I know you wouldn't want to just sit here of your own will, but as the director of political analysis right. and global logistics, <laughs> also no better person but you. While you were over right. your weekend praying, ladies and gentlemen, viewers, subscribers, Mr. Minto was over there crunching numbers, looking at analytics. And I was over the weekend just waiting to receive the grand sheet I have in my hand this evening. Mm, yeah. Indeed, it was a lovely election. Indeed, it was a tight race. Still here on the edge at some of these results. Might surprise you. Might keep um, you in a shock. Some of you might even, you know, get a little epileptic shock this evening. We have Miss Reed and the entire bio department on standby to resuscitate you when that happens. Before we get right into it, we're going to hear from the staff advisor to the Sixth Form Association who will work with any candidate that is really elected here this evening. Joining us over the phone is Mr. J. Von Burnett. He wasn't able to join us on set. I wonder if he's connected now. I think he's connected now. We're going to hear from Mr. J. Von Burnett, staff advisor at the Sixth Form Association and advisor to the law club. Mr. Burnett um, oversee the election process this week uh, he brought up the entire roadmap to success and he's going to be here answering a few of our questions this evening let's pull up the screen as we have him over the phone mr j von burnett speaking with mr j von burnett teacher at york Castle high school advisor to its law club and the sixth form association mr burnett coordinated our week's election so all this festivity, all this excitement, and the fact that we are here this evening to release the results, we have to give Mr. Burnett thanks for that. Good evening, sir. How are you doing? I am doing great. And you, sir? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. So, sir, the ballots have been casted, but we're seeing 193 votes in total. Now, of course, there aren't 193 students in sixth form. Do you think the decisions made by these ballots are a true reflection of the sixth form populace? They are, in fact, a true reflection of the sixth form populace. Why would that be so? Mm -hmm. um, when we do a rough count of the sixth form, if we were to speak in terms of rough and round figures, we're looking at approximately 250 students. Mm -hmm. Now, if it is that we had, a, when I did a you know, a sectional analysis and a more sensitive, um, you know, reading of the votes, I recognize that um, at least 70% of the students would have participated for each category okay. of the election. So that is, in fact, very commendable in light of the challenges okay. and in light of the fact that this is a novel type of election. Yeah, it's the first time we're actually going yeah. um, online yeah. with the electoral process, full-fledged. Right. And it was, it was well delivered. So you think this is something you might repeat in the future, this online thing? Um, well, no one knows when the 
pangs of the COVID-19 will no longer be felt. Right, right. And uh, so therefore we must be prepared to actually um, contend with this um, novel virus. Fair enough. Which would warrant, of course, another run, another if run. needs be. <laughs> Definitely. So you are satisfied with the results then? I am satisfied in terms of the process or the way within which it was carried out. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Won't drag you out, Mr. Bernie. I, I must also pause though to actually um, commend a very robust team that would have been... Um, I would have been working with throughout the election um, okay, process. Who are those persons, Mr. Burnett? Yeah, man. So we have um, CMY Hill. I mean, we know she was actually um, a candidate uh -huh. or a presidential nominee. Right. However, um, she was strategically and um, involved in the planning of this um, and the execution of this entire thing and also um, Damario Berry. Okay. So these students were very, very fundamental. So truth be told, um, their capacity and, and, and their contribution, if you were to take that away, then perhaps this would not have been such a smooth and successful run. So I would like to, of course, highlight the students and their efforts. And the electoral officers as well, I presume. Of course, of course, and the electoral officers. Yes. So all of those who participated. Right. What about members of um, staff? We didn't have any assistance from members of staff, Mr. Burnett. Um, Mrs. Hahn, of course, would uh, check in from time to time, you know, as the, <laughs> the, 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 the super, what should I say, you know, executive officer right. who would often um, check in and, you know, ensure that things are running right, ask for reports, updates, and so forth. So just her supervisory jurisdiction would have been one such thing which it would have kept me pretty much intact right. and on point in terms of coordinating this entire process. Fair enough. And as you mentioned, the involvement of teachers, you know, this is something we see coming out of the presidential interviews that I have to ask you. What's your position, sir, on teachers having a cast in voting school elections? Do you think teachers, at least the staff advisors, should be able to vote? Well, to look at it, put, put it, put it this way, even if teachers were allowed to vote, mm -hmm. um, I do not think it would make a, a material difference, truth right. be told, because, I mean, the bulk of the populace would have been um, <laughs> regarding the students right. and their votes. So even if you were to give them right. a voice per se, then I don't really think it would cause a material um, difference in terms of the outcome. So, what about at least um, tie-breaking? Because, you know, like a race that even... Well, definitely. Like definitely. Yeah, yeah man, definitely. I, I believe that, no, that is a more um, material issue to be right. considered. Right. Because, um, true be told, sometimes um, these electoral processes are sometimes swayed and... The end result is often a reflection of popularity, right. and sometimes performance gets um, swept beneath the rug. Yeah. And so a teacher placing his or her capacity, being underground, being personally familiar with the capabilities and um, you know, potential of the student would perhaps be in a better position you now to um, break the tie. Break the tie. Love this one. Definitely. Finally from me, Mr. Burnett, what do you say to the elected candidates and all who participated in this election being the staff advisor? Um are you you're referring to the to the um to, to the nominees? Are you referring to those who are what do you say to those elected and those who participated okay. the nominees, right? Okay, okay, okay. All right, you were breaking up there for a while. All right. So the Sixth Form Association is one of those that is actually integral to the entire running of the Sixth Form program. And um, it is actually one of those um, associations which would uh, keep the Sixth Form body um, pretty much alive and vibrant and responding to the need of its members. So 
to those, to, so to all of those students who would have um, mustered the courage, who would have um, taken on this challenge of actually representing the sixth form body as a special um, arm of the York Castle High School. I would like to say, um, you know, they have my respect, hats off to them for the effort that they would have put in. And for those who were elected, particularly now, I would say that, okay, they, 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 there's no honeymoon period. Yeah. There, there ought to be no honeymoon period. What we expect from them is to start putting in the work, to start fulfilling the promises which they have been making, to start replicating their effort in, um, and, 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 and taking, you know, moving now away from the whole campaigning regime to know a uh, delivery and execution regime for all the promises that they have been making. So this is what I'm looking forward to. Fair enough. Thank you so much Very for joining conference. us, Mr. Burnett. Speaking with Mr. J. Von Burnett, teacher at York Castle High School and advisor to its law club and sixth form association. Bobby Francis here at the election. But thank you for joining us, sir. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. All the best. Okay, sir. Thank you so much once again for joining me, Mr. Burnett, this evening. Mr. Minto, are you ready to delve into the results? I see we have some viewers online ready yeah. to hear what's happening. We're live here on YouTube. This is uh, the B broadcast at the election desk. We're bringing you your results. The graphics are ready. Results are ready. I have the signature of Mr. Shelley, affectionately referred to as Dr. Shelley. Our senior electoral officer verifying these results and we're ready to bring them to you. In a hotly contested, uh, in a hotly contested election. A hotly contested election indeed. We saw 20 candidates being du um, duly nominated and uh, bringing it right through to the polls. 20 giants of student leaders and only seven will rise. What do you think about the election, Dante? You think it was a very good election? What do you think about the process? Well, I think really and truly that this election was won for the students. It was, it was really a tremendous one. I love, I love every minute of it. And I was glad I, I got to helping do what I did. You know, I at the beginning of the election, I was on a mission to sensitize the populace, the electorate about the candidates. And uh, through the broadcast, I I managed to, to, to do that, to, to have done that. And I I I am really honored. You know, the, the interviews went well and it was received well by the electorate. The views are um almost awesome. One would say for a, a little channel starting out the first time, no. and um, among other things, I appreciate how the candidates operated. It was a really the campaigns were clean, they were honest, and I believe the election was fair. It was a fair election, and uh, um, we have results to prove that. Uh, but one thing I I really appreciated, as I said, is is how the, the how campaigning went. I ever see one point where um, counterpart candidates were promoting each other. So, right, so that right. is that is that is something I really appreciated. And 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 my mission to sensitize the populace to have them know more about the candidates that was I could say achieved because we see that here by the voter turnout we have a sixty four percent voter turnout and um, to wow. me that is good. It, it demonstrates a healthy um, democracy. And um, and it 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 it, it demonstrates that the people, the six farmers in question right now, they 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 duly nominated their candidate. They, it wasn't a poor voter turnout where it's just um some people, every almost everyone we can say was included in the process. And the the, the elected persons here have a big role to play. They have people to respond. Because I believe that the electorate is now engaged candidates. Definitely. And, and you know, we, we see a Donald Trump and um, Joe Biden situation, particularly 
where the the particularly where the 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 junior vice presidential race is concerned. Right. Right. So don't you think? Right. So don't you think we're gonna have a President Donald Trump and Joe Biden situation, especially where the junior VPs are concerned because that very tight race. Don't you think sixth form is gonna be um, divided? Coming in later, in our panelist, President of the Students Council at York Castle High School. Mark Johnson, his ordinal excellence, will be joining us in a few to, you know, be live as we issue the results and, and, and maybe even congratulate his president counterpart. Mr. So, Minto, you're not afraid of a division in sixth form given that very tight, tight, tight race with the junior VPs? Or you think whoever wins the election will be able to command the majority? Yeah, I believe they will be able to command the majority. Um, are the persons who didn't vote for them because as unity is unity is unity is key, and I believe as long as the, the leaders unite, as long as as I said, the campaign or even post campaign after after all that happens and congratulations happens and um people accept the, 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 the results. I believe it will all be fine. I believe it will all work out in the end. Everyone. You think we're going to have fire and some, um, some Donald Trump type of syndrome after this election? With people being no, very I don't. Given how tight it is? I, I don't think so. I believe, I believe, I believe um, the, the, the results will be accepted. I don't, I don't know if anyone is going to ask for a recount or anything, but I believe once, if, if after a recount, I believe the results will be accepted and people will just maybe move on with their life. Because seeing, seeing, seeing before, um, before the, the, the campaign, or during the campaign, I should say, persons weren't behaving like tearing down each other, as I said, which I commended all candidates for. So I don't, it would be really weird to me and shocking if that behavior um, um, starts post campaign and post election. Very well. Well, that's, that wouldn't be something I recommend given the fact that, um, you know, interestingly with this election, we have validated ballots going in. So it's a much more, um, you know, it's a tighter electoral process yeah. with, with, with very, 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 if not any reduced. Um, chances of a ballot being spoiled, given the validation students had to do in order to even cast their vote. So that's that that is you know the ultimate time waste. But uh, let's see how that would work. Joining us is the president of the students' council, Mr. Mark Johnson. Happy to have you, sir, joining our panel this evening. Happy to be here. Awesome. We're going to let in Miss Jada Hay pass the events coordination of the sixth coordinator of the Sixth Form Association. Good evening, Miss Hay. How are you? Awesome. Evening, Miss Hay. How are you doing? Hi, I'm fine. Boy, it's been such a long while since we see you, Jada. How things? How things? It was that reversal. I'm good. How are you guys? How have you guys been? We've been keeping up. We've been keeping up. We've been keeping up. Mm. I'm not sure if you've really been watching the six form association elections. I can bring you up to date. It's been a real tight election. Real one to watch. People are in your position. One of the tightest races was the events coordinator um, race this year. You know, so we just want to ask you to charge the executive members coming in, you know, especially the events coordinator to be as they await the results this evening, which will be bringing them. So go ahead, charge them. Let them know something coming from an exec member last year. All right, well, good evening again, everyone. I must say that it was, it was work, but it was very fun and it was rewarding to be on the executive, um, especially for being an event coordinator. Uh, it took a lot of creativity to find out how best to meet the needs to not only raise funds, but raise fun within the sixth form to get everybody interested and everything. So especially now that you, it's virtual, 
you know, um, they're going to have to think out of the box to really get what they need to get out of the school year. So, you know, just try to be creative, try to come up with things that are new. You guys can do it. You have this, you know, have this luck a long time. So just doing the best and yeah, that's it. Thank you so much, Miss Hay. We see why she was elected. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Jada. I'm glad to have you. All, right. All the best in your endeavors. God bless. All right. Good night. Cool. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was past events coordinator Jada Hay joining us this evening as we give you your results live. We brought you the discussions. We brought you the interviews, and now we bring you the results. All right, let's delve right into it, Mr. Elect. You know, as the as 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 counterpart president, you know, it 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 it's it's a whole. Although the the the, the populace is, is a bit different, it's it's the concept is the same. Being chief leader in charge, you know, they really want to know what's happening. I'm gonna announce some results and then get back at it before I have my viewers get upset with me, which I already see them last in the chats. I'm getting me all the way up in your boat. I'm talking too much. All right, so we zoom into the treasurer's race. Yeah. Yeah. We had projected Amelia Taylor to be the winner, but you know projections go sometimes. Sometimes you have them, sometimes you don't. It's a very sticky world. Progressions, um, projections are made based on modes of progression. You can progress now and then don't progress later. Uh, in third position, we have Miss Shakira Hyatt. Ending with 34 votes, 17.6%, a good effort, Shakira, just not enough to cap the position of treasurer. In second position with 39 votes, 20%, Corey Gordon. A very good work for you, Mr. Gordon. You really did um, push. You got 20% of the electorate, but you were 54 votes short to take down the almighty Amelia Taylor, Woo! who is the Taylor treasurer for you this year. Congratulations, Amelia. You are the Taylor treasurer for the Sixth Form Association. Let's look into the um, treasurer's race, Senator. Mr. Minto, how was that race? How did Amelia really take home the trophy as treasurer of the Sixth Form Association? And did your post predict that? Right, yeah, the polls, right, they predicted that that um, Miss Taylor would win and she did win and also the Bee Broadcast projected that and she did win. But that race was an interesting one, Treasure Race. Um, Miss Hyatt and Mr. Gordon, they did, they did a fair share of campaigning. The, the three candidates, they have to commend them, but I guess the, the electorate just saw Taylor. Her interview was excellent. She 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 she, she listed some some. She, she works for a company. I don't remember um, necessarily, but she has experience in the field. And knowing Amelia Taylor, everyone knows that she is a very good account student. She is um that person that that deals with that kind of thing, financial thing. So I expected no less, and she delivered. Miss Amelia Taylor. She won her. As I said, her campaigning was good. Her Flyers are excellent. So at what point was our election won? You know, I, I know you have all the polls from 10 o'clock over into five. At what point did Amelia really secure the bag to a way Corey couldn't catch up to her? Well, well, at um, really and truly at 2 p.m., we, 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 we could say that it would be hard for, for Mr. Garden to catch him up. It would be something out of the ordinary happening a major swing for him to, to catch up because she, she she got majority of votes from between eight and twelve she got 75 votes and then 
between 12 and, and um, 2, between 12 and 2, she, 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 she lifted to 81. 82 votes. I realized that Mr. Garn just gained one vote, one vote. So that point the race um, was basically called. Right, so it's that, good that, to know that. that you projected correctly and Amelia right. Taylor is to win. Expecting some big things from Miss Taylor. Expecting right. her to do her best as she really pushes through and, and, and become the Taylor treasurer for you. Let's go into the public relations officer race. One to look at. Brittany, Ale Brittany Alexander, Ricardo Daly, Lamoine Muniz, Amanda Slu, Odira Valentine. I'm so proud of Odira when I go through these votes. Brittany Alexander, um, Sad Ricardo Daly, the one who suffered in this election. 14 votes, 7.2%, had no chance of even getting it. You could call him out of the race from the 10 o'clock. Brittany Alexander, 16 votes, 8.2%. You know, I like the little thing going on there. Odera, though, didn't do bad getting 20, 23 votes of, you know, the whole of the votes. That was good. You know, it's good. Whenever a candidate really gets 20, we can say they actually had a chance of winning the election. Yeah. So good work, 11.9% in the Valentine camp. The real debate was between Lamoy Nunes and Amanda Slu. 28 people didn't vote for either of the candidates, um, for any of the candidates rather. That was 14.5% of the entire electorate. We had projected Amanda Slu to be the winner based on her amazing rate of progression. She was moving 7% faster than Lamoy, and that 7% did take her home with 70 votes, 36.2% to Lamoy's 42 votes, 21.7%, Amanda Slu is officially the public relations officer elect. The students decided to join the Slu crew and elected Amanda Slu. Congratulations from the broadcast going on to Amanda Slu um, with a margin of 28 votes. Mm -hmm. Lamoy Nunes beating her with 28 votes. Lamoy Bobby Sue Nunes. Boy, I tell you. Boy, I tell you. A nice race to watch. How did Amanda take that home in 30 seconds, Senator? Up against that. Well, um, Amanda, Amanda was a candidate that was off the bat. Amanda was campaigning before nominations ended. But I think at one point here, I your, think the first your, your polls predicted Lamoy to win first the one. elections. Right, they did, and I believe even that motivated her more, and she said it in her interview, because the polls, I, I can't tell her, and I remember clearly that Amanda almost got no support from upper school, and Lamoy got almost none from lower school. So what Amanda did, she she, cried. she knew that she was established in lower six, not lower school, sorry, in lower six, and then she went in upper six, and she campaigned. And um, Lamoy failed, I believe, she failed to, to, to cross the gap between upper and lower six. So that is that, that led to her detriment. Another interesting person in this race, though, um, would, would be Ricardo Daly. He campaigned well for me. He, and got he was 14 also, votes. I'm going, to, I'm, going to, I'm going to explain why I believe that. Um, he campaigned well for me. He was off the bat. I saw a Ricardo Daly post almost every day. I think I have at least... Ten of his posters in my <laughs> phone, right? He, he he campaigned good. But this is it. This is the thing. He campaigned. He campaigned better than majority of candidates. But this is the thing. A Honda is a very good car until you put it up against a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. It, it was so this based, you're saying I'm based on the competition. The based on the competition, this just wasn't his race. If maybe mm. if he ran for another competition, he like he what? Like what position, so? I don't know. Don't but let me draw you out, Senator. Don't let me draw you out. Fair enough. Fair enough. Maybe. Fair enough. Maybe if you ran for another position. Right. We have some right. very nice <laughs> Hondas. I don't know which type of Honda. Maybe the 99. Let me not even call out any cars here this evening. <laughs> but a very good race we have going on for the public relations officer. Congratulations, Amanda Slew. Mr. Right. President, what do you think about the elections um, this year? You, you really think about the six form elections. You think that's something you could probably um, look into duplicate in counts? What do you think? I mean, you know, it's all about perspective. And when you're looking at um, the ratio of six form to the ratio of the entire school populace, inclusive right. from grade seven, to grade 13, you're looking at two completely different um, situations there. Um, 
think six form and the six form association did well though did well i can say that i would adopt their style but i think they did well um commendations to them adopt the google forms no definitely not i i the population size because of the population, size, because of the population size and then based off what our council follows and what um our constitution dictates that's not a route that we can even think of going down yeah. Yeah, we can't maybe, even think of going down there. Maybe, maybe for, 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 you know, should we, you know, be going online soon? You know, we have to start thinking. If we're going online, then there would have to be more. There would have to be different routes. Or mm. Yeah, man. Yeah. But as we know, those routes are very much more expensive. Oh, right, right. Very so, expensive. Very expensive. I, so I, I think, definitely yeah. in the future. I mean, that this pandemic has helped us to see a different demographic right. different, of yeah. things. So we will definitely be looking into that for the immediate future as right, but you, as you commend the association for i commend them totally uh, for their efforts democracy. um for the entire feeling around their election yeah, it was a very good election it's an unprecedented type of election at I tell you. So, you know they I come in glory so you know very proud of, of of the efforts here really really good really very good. happy to see how they campaign they did well i have to very give them well. props to that we have many persons who can follow you know suit from definitely oh you know, the campaign was done definitely. let's go into the secretary's race one we ought to talk about um danica brown with 13 votes 6.7 percent of the electorate uh, you know interestingly everybody thought sabia would have been the the queen of this race but sabia was massacred by talitha thorpe and rebecca james sabia to bringing in 38 votes 19.6% of the votes went to Sabia Anderson, you know, and she campaigned well, you know, yeah. she campaigned pretty well. Good, nice interview. And Rebecca James and Talitha really went at it. Rebecca James had 47 votes when the ballots were finally counted at 5 p.m. 24.3% of the electorate um, that voted. And Talitha Thorpe had 65 votes. Whoa. Thirty-three point six percent. That's an eighteen percent margin. You know, I, 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 I think um, Joel Lynn. You know, I think you mm. really caused you know this 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 magnificent victory. But then right. you know, she was struggling. I tell you, struggling. You know, immensely. And her manifesto video, and Joel Lynn. You know, I, you know, I, I think she should. Be, I should think she should make Joel her secretary. You know, very very mm. good um, campaigning went on there. Um, congratulations. I know Talitha is a woman of God, so she must be having her praise and worship right now. So congratulations, Mr. Thorpe. We wanted to project you, but I was advised against projecting anybody else. But a very good work done, Ms. Thorpe, and we wish you the best in your elections. I have four positions remaining. Events coordinator, junior vice president, vice president, president. This one ought to have you at the edge of your seat. We'll be right back. Thank you so much for joining us. Bobby Francis here at the election desk. Joining me on my panel this evening is political analyst and, and coordinator here at B Broadcasts, Council Senator Dante Minto and Council President Mark Johnson. Earlier we had Mr. J. Vaughn Burnett joining us and past events coordinator Ms. Jada Hay joining us. They were unable to stay with us on the panel, unfortunately, but it was a pleasure to have them. This evening we have announced Treasurer Amelia Taylor, Treasurer-elect, Public Relations Officer-elect Amanda Sloop, Secretary-elect Talitha Thorpe, and now we're zooming in to the races that were looked at. I'm going to cut right in and start with the vice presidential race because I know that's what everybody wants to hear. Probably we lose our viewers as soon as I announce this one. I didn't want to project it, but I have to project it. Some persons predicted it, some persons didn't. This is one to look at. With 79.2%, 153 votes, the Mario Berry is the senior vice president. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Berry, senior vice president-elect. Wanted to project it, but it was anticlimactic to do so. 20.8% of the electorate, however, thinks Berry shouldn't be the man. 
to do the job. They didn't need to talk to them, Mr. Berry, and tell them you're the only one running. Let's zoom in now to the events coordinator race. Woo! This one, you know, really, this one really had me on easy. <laughs> Not even going to ask the Senator how the Mario won that race. But we're going to yeah. win the <laughs> coordination race now. Uh. Well, let me just say commendations to Tariq. You did well, 13 votes, 6.7%. Let's get you out of the way. 32 votes, 32 people didn't vote in this election for either candidates, either of the candidates was 16.5%. But one candidate will take home this trophy tonight. 72 votes against 76 votes. 37.3 against 39.3. It's a four vote margin. I don't want you to get a heart attack, Alicia, and I don't want you to get a heart attack, Leopold. So let me give it to you right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the events coordinator elect for the year 2020-2021 of the SFA. Is Mr. Leopold Smith? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> good. That was a good race. That it's was seventy-six a... votes, thirty-nine point three percent. Leopold Smith took home that very hotly oh. contested race. <laughs> you, you know, you know. I, I, the senator will tell you all about it. The votes were climbing. The votes were climbing, and the votes just stopped for one candidate. Uh, I'm not going to go into the analytics. Going to allow the senator. To bring us into the analysis there but it was really a tight race to watch my heart just dropped giving the announcement trust me a very good job to the elisa harvey camp um, i'm sure leopold is cooking dinner for the whole family tonight after hearing this <laughs> results go ahead senator tell hey, us please how oh, leopold smith took this away from alicia she was leading talk to us right she was leading at 12 p.m. What I, one thing I love about this election is that majority of votes came in early. Majority of votes came in between 8 to 12. And we see Alisa Harvey getting her total amount of votes between that time, between 8 to 12. She got 72 votes. And um, right there between 8 to 12, Leopold got 7. But as a result, say, Alisa Harvey stayed at 72 votes while Leopold Smith climbed from 57 votes to 76. So at what point in the day did he reach 76 votes? Between between three and five, actually. Last minute. At 3 p.m. he was at 67 votes. And then he climbed to so 76. Ladies and gentlemen, it is clear. The mail-in ballots didn't only serve <laughs> Joe Biden, but it served Leopold Smith as well. That's really and what I, 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 I would I would give that to the to, to last minute campaign. And this is where I say to, to, to future candidates at, at any race, never stop campaigning. Never. You never know. Yes, we, we, we have a four four vote margin here. Four people. At least four want people. to box those four people now. Like, right. Uh, and, and I can say I am in the realms of 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 where the, the the two candidates would campaign. I have them in my contacts. We are in similar groups, so I, so I am where they would send their campaign messages. And I and I believe that. And Leopold actually sent a message, a late message. He went to he went for he went for a late campaign. I think it was after three. I think it was after three. He sent out a message saying vote, vote Leopold. And you see, it was that message. And, and your analysis also, Mr. Francis, um, at the 12 p.m. polls was that grade 13's vote late. And um, at the polls would tell me that Leopold's had almost have um, almost full backing of the upper six and, and Alisa have had um, almost full backing of the lower six. And, it could be where, where Leopold um, did some late campaigning and rallied up, rallied up persons and motivated them to go vote. And that is where he won the election. And may, maybe Alisa Harvey eased off because all her voters came in between him and 12. And maybe she, she felt relaxed, I can't tell you. And then she stopped campaigning. But Leopold persisted. And yeah. 
And it could be that last, that last push, that last step that, that won him the election. But come in this to the two, to the two, to both, to the both campaigns. Very happy. They, they worked hard during the whole campaign, the whole campaign, and 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 I'm um, a very good race to them. There we have it. And you'll see the Magna Labore indeed. Mr. President, we're zooming into the presidential candidates. What do you have to say before we, re we release these results? You know, I think it's really, no matter what we want to say, it's really these ones why everyone is here. Um, you know, Lennon and um, Mr. Paul Jones, I mean, you know, that is the epitome of an election. That's the epitome right. of a good election. Right. I right. have to say commendations to both of them without a do doubt. Two different campaign strategies, but two effective campaign strategies. And anyone who gets it really and truly, awesome job. Great job. Same goes to the presidents as well. Um, you know, willing and ready to work with both. Um, excited to work with anyone who gets it. Really excited to see who will come out on top. Well, we brought you the interviews. We brought you the discussions. And now we bring you the results. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We brought you the discussions, we brought you the interviews, we brought you the elections, and now we have the results. Bobby Francis here at your election desk. I have Dante Minto with me, council senator and political analyst. I have President Mark Johnson here. Mr. Mr. President, you know, I, 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 I didn't get from you your, your feedback on the events coordination race. You know, in 30 seconds, you know, that's a very tight race. You know, at least I must be crying now, Leopold, you know, probably. The la you know he loves the laugh, probably laughing out the whole world now that he won the election. What do you have to say to Alisa? What do you have to say to Leopold in 30 seconds, please? You know, um, all in all, I have to give Alicia, you know, the biggest of thumbs up. Alicia, for the race to be so close, Alicia, you know, really because, you know, right. the one who went, knows okay, Alicia, Leopold, precisely. Yes, and Ali, everyone who knows Alicia, Alicia is not a very public person, but she really came out for her elections and she really put herself out there. She allowed fact, herself to be known. There's a lot about the YC electorate, which I'm sure the, the, the senator is going to go into, you know, the fact mm -hmm. that Leopold, everybody would have called the race for Leopold from the Leopold moment. from and morning. Yet but yet Alicia you know, put up such a challenge. It means the YC student is, you know, you know, there yeah, man. And I have to give a word of encouragement to Alicia as well. This is not the end for you. You know, you have done well. And I'm sure, you know, in the future, for future endeavors, you will be able to win a race. And you Experience had a very strong, mm -hmm. you had a very strong opponent in Mr. Smith. Very strong, right. Not right. taking any way or anything away from him. He was an amazing opponent. But strong. at the end of the day... His As Leopards you know, really came out, you know. His they Leopards, came, yeah, they, they came late. out. They nearly lost him. Kind of embarrassing that it took so long for him to take the lead. But, but in the day, he took if it. If it is even one it's vote, well that's the right. one vote that will swing it. Well, look you at Lisa Hatt, not going to get there. But the reality is, you know, it is what it is. So proud of them both. Proud of Leopold too, you know, really. I'm doing well. Expecting Great him to job. get more of the electorate though. But you know how people are in elections. That's right. true. All right, let's get down to it. Ladies and gentlemen, we took the break and we're here. Not going to take any other break. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Giving you the vice presidential results. Now, we have two formidable candidates going up against each other, Paul Jones and Lennon Richards. We had Paul Jones saying he's a leader like no other, you know, leadership skills like no other. That's the leader you should do. But we had Lennon Richards say, look, I'm the cool guy. You want the cool vice president. It was a real tight race. And if you thought the race was tight, think again, because it was tight. I tell you, we have 84 votes against 79 votes. What did I say? 84 against 79. Tell us, Dante, when did this winner pick up, you know, that five-vote margin? Tell us. Tell us at one point, at what point did this um this this winner um get the five-vote margin he needed for victory? Right, you see at 2 p.m. 
one person was the lead. Well, obviously. And um, we have, at 3 p.m., we have between 2 and 3, the votes begun to climb for both candidates. But at 3, between 3 to 5, that is where we see that candidate getting the crucial Five votes, votes that won him. Five that votes election. that won him that election. Well, between are we going to call those mail-in ballots too? <laughs> Last me voting, and I can tell you that no. After you, 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 you announce the results, I will, I will tell you. I will emphasize something again. So go ahead. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it was a tight race, and I'm not going to hold you up anymore. Eighty-four against seventy-nine. We had right. thirty persons right. who didn't know who to vote for. Thirty persons who didn't know who to select as their VP making 15.5%, who knows? That 30% could really make a major swing. We never know. So we want to encourage the electorate, whenever you're voting, know who you're voting for. You know, evaluate the manifestos, evaluate the plans and make that decision. With 84 votes, ladies and gentlemen, the people decided that Lennon Richards wasn't cool enough for them. Paul Jones is the junior oh. vice president elect. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a five vote margin over Lennon Richards, commendations to Lennon Comment Richards. You know, yeah, you know, the commendations to both candidates. We were not able to project who was going to win. We couldn't, yeah. you know, it's 0 0.2, with, with not even 0 0.2, with a 0% progression rate of both candidates. We, we couldn't project it. Dante and I, we, we, we sat down and we looked at the analytics for, for hours, 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 trying to see who won? We looked at last year's election to make a comparison to see who can we project. And we couldn't project it. While we could have projected Talitha Thorpe, we could have projected everybody. We couldn't project this race. Very tight. And as Mr. Minter said, in the last minutes, Paul Jones took out his church brothers and took out his church sisters and literally gave the victory to the man who says his leadership skills are like no other. Mm -hmm. And what Paul is celebrating. Uh, when I when I interviewed Lennon on, on Friday, Lennon was saying he felt devastated being behind by two votes. He took up some, but uh, what, what do you think? What do you think caused that? You think the people didn't connect with the cool? I don't think so because I think they connected with the cool because he had quite you know the vote. It was quite a division. You know, six form is really divided where the vice right, 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 right. are. So it's really just who took out their supporters is who, is, is, is who had a campaign that really appealed to them. Mark, what do you have to say about that? Um, you know, like I said, two totally different campaign strategies taken all together. Commendations to Lennon Richard, you know, for the votes to be, you know, four votes and five votes apart. That means, you know, it really was a battle, you know, to the end. So All commendations, right. commendations, don't feel in doubt. I think at the end of the day, though, you know, Paul Jones, you know, that's why persistence in elections are key. Do yeah. never stop pushing to vote, never stop. Even at the last minute, five minutes before, I remember Paul Jones sending out, and, and Paul Jones, um, his campaign managers sending out flyers to different groups and say only five minutes left, six right. minutes left, was get to out that. and vote. And when you see that, you know, to the very last minute, that those are things that would have added up the little one, one votes and a little two, two votes. Right. And like I said before, it's only, it's only one vote needed to swing the election the other way. Right. So right. persistence is key up until the very last minute, last minute. up until last the minute. very last second, what? you what? have what? to keep on pushing your electorate. Well, I get call Talitha's race to vote. Joel Lynn. I'm going to call this one to Andrew McIntosh. And Tosh, they, really, man. Uh, Andrew McIntosh, man. Fuller. They, they, they really... Yeah, man, they really uh, rallied uh, up the, the Marshnik Fuller was doing unwarranted polls just to get an understanding of how her candidate was standing. And they right. Race. Really and um, anything else from you, Senator, on how... And Paul yeah, man, I, I, was, I, was, I was going to re-emphasize that never stop campaigning. Never. never stop. Up, up until 5 p.m., Mr. Jones was campaigning. And, um, but, but, but again, another thing we learned from this election, that as Mr. Mr. Um, Jones said in his interview on Friday, that YC is filled with critical 
thinkers. Critical thinkers, because we can say that. And 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 Lennon, Lennon here rubbishes the people that says that said that he he's just running based on popularity because we don't see a candidate getting so many votes on popularity. Lennon is a loser, but Lennon has more votes than the winner of the chair, the PRO, and the secretary. No, not the chair, the PRO secretary and the events coordinator. He has more votes than those winner winners. So this is where I tell Lennon. Um, don't 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 stop. He was on a mission. He, he had genuine intentions, I believe. And I, I think that he shouldn't stop here. He should have pursued with his thing to try to sensitize people about financial literacy and all that. He's a very good thing he's trying to do. And right. commendations to you, sir. Very the two campaigns were very good. They were extraordinary. They were also off the bat. Well, I think even Leonard Moore was was, was off the bat than, than Mr. Paul. But right. I, I think I Paul I Paul sure. picked up Paul picked up in the in, in, in the latter stages of the election and um, I think he resonated well and then it also rubbishes the the the, 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 the fact or, or the agenda that some people push that um YC student students would vote for other YC students because there was even a situation on every Friday morning where someone was saying vote for YC students in some in some group. Mm. We see here that um, we have two winners, I believe, that are new students. Thus we have far. two, right, thus far. And um, it, well, if you add, no, two winners here that are, that are, that are new students, and it, it also rubbishes the fact that YC votes ha, ha, um, has loyalty to its um, roots more, more than other. More than um, incoming students, because it, it 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 Paul had resonated with 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 people for him to win um this election. So and the polls also rightfully predicted Paul Jones maybe by not maybe not by that margin, but the polls did predict that Paul Jones would take the trophy. Congratulations to the Paul Jones camp. You can relax. You can breathe. And most of all, I know you'll be praying to the Almighty this evening for your victory, a very close victory he gave you. Um, commendations to Lennon Richards. You know, I, I personally have to commend Lennon, you know, coming out of the shell like that, yeah. taking on such a big mantle. That was, that was very, very good. And now to end our election coverage this evening, I'm about to announce who is going to be the president-elect of the Sixth Form Association. Many people think they already have in their mind who the, the winner is, but elections swing either way, Mr. Minto. And this is, you know, what we've seen here tonight is just an example of that. People thought Alicia was going to win yeah. this election and Leopold took it over. People thought Lennon was going to win the election and Paul took it over. Let's see who they thought would win this election. People thought Omar Brown was going to win the seat of the president. And rightfully so, he did with 100 votes, 51.8% wow. to Theomar Hill's 72 votes, 37.3%. Omar Brown is the president-elect of the Sixth Form Association. 28 votes apart, 21 people did not vote. And maybe even that couldn't save this hill. People did not decide to climb the hill for this election. Instead, they decided to sprint with Brown. That's how elections go. Commendations to Tia Moy Hill. You know, personally, I think Tia Moy is, you know, is, 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 is a leader. You know, she, she has experience in leading. She's faithful. Right. She, she's filled with character. You know, but um, Omar connects with the people too. Omar connects with everybody. And, you know, I think, I don't know, are there 28 persons on the track team? If not, we can say it's a track team that really gave Omar the victory. We can say Omar just connected with more people. And it's quite a margin to win by two. I think, um, you know, even Chade and Daly, V. Karin Nevins, I think even their election was a bit tighter than this one. Omar really, you know, Ran up Thea Moy's bill with this one, 28 votes, you know, one or the other. But, we, you know, we could project that Omar was going to win because he was at a 20.5% rate of progression. 
know, Demoy would have to pull out all her stops to, to win that election. My advice to the executive where that is concerned is that, you know, you know, you have an, you have, you had amazing opponents. It would be, you know, remiss for you to not include them in one way or another yeah. in your deliberations and at least for advice or being a part of your executive, if possible, you know, just find a way to, to rally thoughts together. The campaign season has ended. It's time to put the divides aside, join together. And, 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 and do what you have to do for the Sixth Form Association. Um, Mr. Minto, how did Omar win this race? Omar, Omar, what I believe is that campaign win elections. And I believe that Omar campaigned better than CMI. He, he, he was, um, we, we organized the way the B broadcast here, we organized the way in which the, 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 the the, the candidates would connect with the populace and Omar was really cooperative with that he he um he he did his best he he campaigned off the bat as I said he had more he had a lot of posters he had videos going around his interview as well it resonated I think his interview has way more views than Fiamoy Hills and um right um Omar he had a lot of videos flyers going around he had he had very a very good campaign team I seen dancing and wiggling in one of the videos right he was even dancing showing 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 the electorate that side of him that yeah. is really a fun guy as people know him to be and then coming out in the election in the in in the interview showing people that he's an intel he's an intellect as well right, like, right. i think i think omar you know pulled out the political stops to win this um, election. You know, it was right. a drag free election. You know, he he tapped into um, Fiamoy's, you know, safe zone. I think he got some science people. You know, mm -hmm. you know when you get science, you already start to take away her, her backbone. Mm -hmm. I think he kind of um, started to tear apart from that way, you know. And as you said, the video, you know, it, it, something other than just being. Yeah, know, man. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. Anytime you come, connected, especially with the new persons coming in, right. then they want to see that type of comfort, right. and that's what gave him the election. Um, yeah. You know, that's one thing. You know, another thing could really be that you know, the, the 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 many people did not vote in this election for the president because, you know, both of them made their name at YC, and nobody wanted to take sides. We can say yes. Yeah. Nobody wanted to take a side. Um, they, you know, they, they, they saw where probably, you know, and, you know, grade 13s, you know, they didn't vote much, you know, they didn't vote much at all, you know, and they voted probably too late. Probably people started accessing the site after six when they remembered that there was an election going on, et cetera. Yeah. And aside from those who weren't privileged to, to, to vote, you know, by, because of internet difficulties, et cetera, that also robbed them and students being busy, you know, her very own base was probably very busy with labs, etc. So even those type of things probably took that away. You know, Fiamoy mm -hmm. didn't get to campaign that, didn't, didn't get to champion that type of support coming into the elections. But for Mars camp, you know, championed it better because I see grade nine and grade 10 students reposting Omar Brown. So mm -hmm. you know, just imagine that, that championing. Going on. Mr. President, what do you say to President-elect Omar Brown of the Sixth Form Association 2020-2021? Well done. Well done. Um, you know, I always say, you know, elections win rightfully, as we say, and campaigning win. But when you come up with something different than what students are used to or have been accustomed to, that can go one of two ways. It can go really bad and it can go really good. And as we have seen, this race didn't even come down to four or five votes. What was the margin? 25, 28. 20, 28. You understand? Which shows a bigger margin than other cam candidates. I think only the treasurer would have had a bigger um, span between, um, you know, in terms of winning. So it shows you what the difference in this scenario did for him rather than what the difference in, in another scenario like the junior vice president. It, it, it may have just cost him just a bit 
where we have seen it in the junior VPs race. But, you know, still, all in all, I have to say, you know, amazing stuff, amazing stuff. Um, what we have to remember, and one thing I implore the Six Farm Association to do is always try to get your electorate out. Always try to get your electorate out to get the best representation for you. Always try to get your electorate out. If you're not getting your electorate out, then it, it is really just a free fall mm -hmm. as it is. It really will be a free fall. And, you know, I don't know what the total electorate was um, this time around. What was it saying? But um, in any 193. case... 193. We had 193 people voting. Yeah, 193 people voting, and that's from both lower and upper seats. So, you know, we can really see and say that should more of the electorate have been grabbed, then all of these races could have been decided either by bigger margins or it could have been swung mm -hmm. in a different yeah. way completely. Yeah, Precisely. Awesome job, though. As you know, the Students' Council will always stand beside and assist in every single way possible. We are here, not as an opposition, but as a support system to the Six Swam Association and all other leadership body, bodies within the school. Definitely. Um, you know, welcome to our board of directors. Welcome to the world of leadership. Welcome to, you know, a future Welcome to everything that is the student leadership and the face of the students here at York Castle. We're very happy to have you and we're looking forward to working with Definitely. you. Definitely. And, you know, these candidates who are six formers, you know, the prefecture looks for uh, leadership qualities like this. And we mm -hmm. definitely capitalizing on that to ensure that, you know, everybody has it because we can't allow such a good talent to go to waste. We right. will have to ensure, you know, as head boy, I can pledge to look into ways to ensure we capitalize on, you know, these type of talents if they are not already being capitalized on. Amazing race. Um, the top three performing candidates. I mean, third position, Amanda Slu, um, took 70 votes. In second position, Amelia took 93 votes. And in first position, Omar literally took the 100 cent. I tell you, Dante is running 100 meters and he literally finished the 100 yeah. meters. Um, Omar, you. 100 if, I may, if I may add that, if I, would, if I could give Omar some advice, is to speak to Thea more and get some get hey man. Yeah, she sees get information people. from her because she was, a, she, was a, she was the past secretary, which mm -hmm. means you were closely with the president and then yeah. she was interim before the election. So she right. knows what it's like. She knows the role. So, 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 so just I, I, I wish the two candidates would um move forward and work, unite for the better of the electorate. And also, I want to comment here more. She did a very good job in commanding right. seventy-two votes because right. coming into the election, Thea Moy versus Omar, it, it could it could be clear as day who who the winner was. She managed to, to, to step out of what I would think would be her comfort zone and um, command votes and, 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 and um, motivate people or, or, or persuade people rather to, to, to choose her. So she, she did a good job. And, and from the B broadcast here, I want to say a very good job to all of the candidates. This race was an unprecedented one. It was I fittest of the fittest right. survive. I was on the edge literally. of my seat. Right. Still on the edge of my seat, literally. And, 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 and if, if, if just being, just having your name called, having your name on the ballot, ballot that, that, that is an achievement. Because many persons started and they dropped out from, for various reasons. Right. And, 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 I, I, and I see after the first polls, people getting flustered, but people person persevered. Like we have Teresa Thorpe. Teresa was... Yeah, she's she's the, the breakout, you know. Right. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, she, she, trust me, I didn't have Teresa in a fraction of my mind when the election started. And look at her now. Right, you know? because... In the first, the first, the first, the first post, she was 12 percent, I believe. And then I didn't even see her name on the first post and look at her now. Winner, exit post. So proud of this, 
Yeah. Right. And um, so very good job to all the, 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 the candidates, um, all the campaign managers. They 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 they, they bear with us. You know, yeah, very much so. And it's good you mentioned the campaign managers they submit yeah. to because what is important for people to understand, and I can't stress it enough, it is a campaign that wins an election. Right, and it having someone to hit that, that having someone to hit that. When you have someone whose main priority is, is you. to ensure your campaign mm-hmm. is running, right. is mm-hmm. true, mm-hmm. then you have the election because you, you might have, have to be focusing on the manager, so You might have to be focusing on the interviews, and when we have someone whose main priority is to focus on your campaign, then you're good to go. I have had some amazing campaign managers in the past, and I have. Yeah. Been you know, say that they, you know, they really, are credited really, really. the picture. You know, I had several campaign managers. I had Nikila Richardson, I had Deandra Wallace, I had, um, you know, um, Tijon Shelley, Lancelot Page, you know, you know, I had, I had several, you know, amazing campaign managers. And I was one of the um, Danmark Clark's campaign managers and Nikhil Treasure's campaign manager, etc. So, you know, it's, it's, it's good to ensure you have good campaign managers to be on the ground happening to where you need to tap into because that's what um, wins the election you know that's really right, what right, right. i had an excellent campaign manager my in my my, my first run my own year was your campaign Jordan. manager Jordan. 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 Okay, she, she, she stepped out for me and she did things that i didn't have to ask her to do and that is what right. i look for in a campaign manager not someone who's laid back and who's there as a name right. but so that's truly yeah man that's here true. you know so yeah, campaign managers can win. What about you, Mr. Chance. President? You know, who yes. was one of your standout campaign managers? I remember it wasn't really one. It was just a group of them. It yeah, was man. a group of, yeah. at the time, it was Saskia Scarlett and um, Azrina Green and, um, you know, the whole friends of them, the whole group of them. And, you know, they went literally as a troop, yeah. as an army from class to class, day after right. day after Definitely. day. Rallying okay. lower school for me when I was getting Definitely. lower school and running for presidency. Jaheim Dennis, Jaheim Dennis was yeah, outstanding. Yeah, man. Man. Jaheim was really like, outstanding, so much so outstanding that the executive people because yeah, man. Know, remember Gabrielle Williams, she lifted up her entire Higher block. Yeah, man. Let's remember yeah. Carrie Nevins took a piece of challenge to Chadine Daly. You know, when precisely, she, precisely. When she was running against an incumbent, you know, Chadine was the incumbent president, and everyone mm-hmm. thought. You would have won, and and this I, is a message for you not to give up because when never. when when Karin came, she ran for president and she lost terribly. It was an embarrassment, and then in her second year, she came up and my God, she took it to Chadine, and there she is, immediate past president of the sixth form association. association. And look at your president, Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown, look for good advisors, look for good assistants. Trust me, you need people who will power you. you and your yeah. campaign. The president has had a good amount of assistant. I was a Danmar Clark's assistant when I was, um, you know, when Danmar was president. Mikhail Marsh was my assistant when he was president. And now Marty Johnson is my assistant as chairman. An amazing assistant, I tell you. have to be up there. It's good that you, you, you get assistants that are there for you and advisors that are there to keep you in line because sometimes you know your decision may not be what is best what is your best. and i have to say to you although you're the president and although you're the man running the six form association include administration include your staff advisor include them you know you're nothing without them it's important mm-hmm. you know, their expertise you get their advice bring them in your decision making give them a casting vote if you want to but it's important that you 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 have them play a pivotal role in how you go about making your decisions. Very important. You know, I always talk about Mrs. Hyacinth in years before the prefecture, always championing the team. And you know, I always talk about Miss Jadia Clark. You know, people don't see Miss Clark, you know, up at the yeah, front, yeah, yeah. but Miss Clark but is the most yeah. amazing yeah. behind the scenes worker. Calling me in the middle of the puppy and show you that's the type of energy you need. You know, Miss Hart was everywhere with us when we were students cones, when she was at students cones specifically. And that's the type of energy we want to see, you know, you know, that type of collaboration is going on between, you know, that, you know, those type of organizations. We need to see that the council, Mr. President is saying, is here to support the Sixth Form Association. And the prefecture is here to support you as well. It was amazing being your host for the end of the election series. It was and amazing. The B broadcast is here to support 
all three bodies, I must say. Right. And I'm sure they're also here to bring out our irregularities, I must say. Right. <laughs> Looking forward to speak with the executive in our interview, maybe later tonight, maybe tomorrow, let's see. But we want to chat with the executive elect, all of them on one call, and let's hear how they're feeling. Let's hear what's going on with them. We're going to see what's happening. When that time comes, it was amazing sharing this election experience with you for those who are still here watching us uh, on the panel this evening. Dante Minter, Council Senator and Coordinator here at the B Broadcasting Commission, President Mark Johnson, Council President. Before us, we had um, Jada Hay, Immediate Past Events Coordinator, charging the Executive and Mr. J. Von Burnett, Staff Advisor to the Sixth Form Association. I'm sure the Principal is proud. I'm sure the Sixth Form Coordinator, Mrs. Sonja Horton, is proud. I'm sure all form teachers are proud. I'm sure the electorate is proud that democracy was tried and democracy prevailed. And that's what's important here, that the students had their choice. President-elect Omar O'Brien Brown. That is it. President-elect Omar O'Brien Brown. Vice President-elect Demario Berry. Junior Vice President-elect, if I may be excused to do this, Bishop Paul Jones, Events Coordinator, uh, Leopold, not going to say Cleo, so you don't have to worry about that, Leopold. Leopold Smith, Secretary Evangelist, if I may tell Letha Thorpe, just having fun here, Public Relations Officer, Amanda Slew, Treasurer, Amelia Taylor, Taylor. I tell you, it was an amazing time being here with you at the B broadcast. In the council, the Students' Council of York Castle High School, a union you can trust, sponsored the coverage of the elections this year. We brought you the discussions. We brought you the interviews. And we brought you the results. I am Bobby Francis here at the B Broadcasting Commission. With me tonight was Dante Minto and President Mark Johnson. We brought you the results. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for participating. This couldn't have been done without you. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel. All the best. Take it easy. Good job. Until next time.